I saw a lot of people getting mad this week because there was all these like photos about life in China now, and like they're fucking loving it. They're having Wuhan a great pool time. party, baby. They're fucking. They're they're at raves. They're eating in restaurants. They're fucking. They're having a great time. That and soup are is like, back on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> people are super pissed about it because they're like, oh, like they're they're fucking. They're rubbing it in our faces, or like you know, they, this is an authoritarian country or whatever. And it's just like. Uh, well, first of all, uh, they have every right to fucking spike it in our faces, even if like you believe that they created this specifically for you know the purposes of. If so, know. it's like, hey, you did it! Congratulations, yeah, it worked. The plan yeah. went off flawlessly. Yeah, I mean, like, could you imagine America ever pulling that? Like, we definitely want to do that to people, but like, oh, I yeah. don't think we couldn't get it together. We would put like Heather Brech in charge of inventing the Wuhan virus that kills people. And it just like it wouldn't work. It would only work on like Welsh people. <laughs> uh, and it would yeah, cost seven trillion dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but like I, I just like there's a certain strain of like commentary on that where they're like, uh, well, yes, uh, uh, China did, you know, uh, see, see a nation of about a billion people through this lockdown and have you know pretty much gone back to normal. But uh, they're an authoritarian state. And I'm like, well, okay, first of all, if you're defending democracy, like you're not doing the best job by making that <laughs> comparison with America. But second of all, like America is, if you're not wealthy, already an insanely authoritarian country, yes. but we have none of the benefits of like, yeah, it, all it, we it, get it, is the authoritarian tyrannical power being used to like, I don't know, help anyone or like, I don't know, just if not help anyone, just make sure shit runs okay and like things are and and you get and but so much of the authoritarianism it gets to be offloaded onto your boss or some shit so it doesn't count yeah it's just like i mean if if that's i mean i would just like i would like one authoritarianism please yeah uh, did you see i will give up fucking- i will give up the right to post pictures of uh president g looking like winnie the pooh i mean that's fine i don't really i don't feel the need to do that i don't care to do it i would like to go into a public building and not worry that I was going to fucking uh, have some sort of horrifying disease come. Yeah. Come no, yeah. Every, like, every, like, uh, thing people post about China. Like, I always think about when Dennis Ross, the repellent uh, career-long diplomat and paid Saudi asset who, uh, you know, worked for the Clinton State Department, among other things. Uh, a guy asked him a pointed question about the war in Yemen at a public library in Kansas City. And he just had the guy dragged off. And it's like, <laughs> no, yeah, this is just like if you're the wrong guy, you just get you get completely fucking railed in this country. I, I mean, American freedom of speech is like one of the only really great things we have going compared to a lot of other places. But it's. You know, terms and conditions may apply. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And, <laughs> void, void where prohibited. Yeah, and uh, God, God, like, I mean, what is freedom but, you know, being able to go to a pool party without dying <laughs> like they can do in China now? Literally yeah. in Wuhan, in the epicenter of yeah. it. And the thing about like getting mad at China, like, this is all playing into the hands of everyone in charge because... That's the next play. You could already see it forming up in the media sphere. The next play is, yeah, everything is shitty. Uh, China's fault. Because, you know, if you're Democrats, you can't really blame the Republicans anymore. So it's going to have to be China. And, of course, the Re- Republicans already started off by uh, blaming China in order to offload their own responsibility. So there's going to be a bipartisan consensus that the one target that you can uh, you can blame everything for is China, which also goes to benefit the long-term strategy uh, of the defense establishment, which is looking for a new uh, reason for being because the whole war on terror thing is running out of gas and a new brinksmanship with China is going to be it. Yeah, and like, yeah, you, you brought up the uh, the the uh, Xi is uh, Winnie the Pooh, which uh, Marsha Blackburn, uh, that, so that awful woman from Tennessee, posted, and she was like, you know, in China, you would be arrested for this. And like you know, this is why they're bad or whatever. I just like to point out that like Marsha Blackburn like sponsored a bill to make desecrating the American flag like a felony or something. <laughs> yeah. And then like when she was giving some like talk in, like her uh, in front of Google, she like asked personally whether an employee who criticized her on Twitter was like wasn't fired for being mean <laughs> to her or something like that. Yeah, it's just yeah the comforts of living in a free country. Yeah, you right? get to be you're free to say anything, and then you're free to be fired and uh, never work again. That's yeah. freedom, baby. No, but the, like China is bad because they censor their uh, TV and films, which you know we don't do here. There's no censorship on Disney Plus or Hulu or any of that. Any of that. They're not just rapidly recutting everything, 
and uh, no one owns any physical media. It's not just that you you're censored by Disney. Apparently, the, also in the stimulus is money to put a consulate in Tibet so that we can uh, heighten the the contradictions there and uh, and further our diplomatic efforts at raising some sort of conflict with China. So that's yeah, cool. I have to say there is no bigger fucking cuck right now than the American who bitches about China all day. <laughs> yeah. the, the, you are the biggest fucking loser in the world if you do that. Yeah, like, China it, made us. China made us ship that all of our industry to them. Yeah. They made us do that. Yeah, they really twisted our arm there. Yeah. Like Jesus Christ. If you yeah, if you spend all day like, you know, making Reddit memes about G and shit, it's like you're a fucking loser. <laughs> they wiped you out. They wiped this fucking country out. Our leaders did. And this is all you can fucking talk about. You don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. This is just a fucking coping mechanism. You have you see the ascendant world power and you just have to believe that they're worse than America. Yeah. Anything bad they do is just identical to America's imperial behavior. It's the biggest fucking... You're doing like John Noonan's fucking job for him. What a fucking loser thing to do. Yeah, you're basically... You might as well just have all of your uh, bank memes just have like CIA in the in the corner of them. A little yeah. watermark. Mitch, McC- Mitch McConnell can like go to Cold Stone Creamery and get, like, infant fetus soft serve. No problem. No one yells at him. He's fine. He's safe. No one, like, Nancy Nancy Pelosi could get her, like, eighth tit job at age 98. No one fucking cares. But all you bitch about is China. God, what a fucking loser you'd have to be.